Back in 1996, the concept of Megatron being a large purple Tyrannosaurus was a tough pill to swallow for some folks. Of course, we've had nearly 30 years to get used to that idea, but back then, those barbarians, they could scarcely wrap their heads around it. So I can only commend Hasbro for taking the beloved name of Megatron, attaching it to something patently absurd, and then say, hey, can we make this even weirder? Transmetal Megatron forgoes the usual fully organic look for something almost completely mechanical. Is it better? I mean, that's up for debate, I suppose. You know, I've always seen Beast Wars Megatron almost like the original Skeletor toys. You know, they got increasingly ridiculous, but it's hard to say that one's better than the other. They're all bangers. Megatron certainly got a lot to pour over, I'll tell you that much, at least. You know, lots of nicely sculpted mechanical detail, that very odd light brown plastic that I'll have to be <laughs> careful with. We haven't even mentioned that gorgeous purple chrome on the head, toes and the turbines on his thighs. That tail is segmented too, so you can have the time of your life posing that. And the mouth opens to show what a happy boy he is. No notes. It's perfect. No, 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 wait, wait a second. There is the small matter of these honking great fists in his chest. <laughs> here, here. T talk about a heart attack. <laughs> what? It's just that he's got the, the they're coming out. N never mind. You just can't tell me that this couldn't have been hidden with some sort of forearm plates or, or dare I say it, a flap. But all is forgiven when you come to this mode's big features. Number one, the turbines open up to finally make every T-Rex's dream come true of flying through the air. But what about when he comes back down to Earth? Well, don't worry because we've got some fold-out landing gear in this fantastic set of rollerblades. Truly one of the best things that humans have ever done. Transforming Megatron is probably a little bit simpler than the original Beast Wars Tyrannosaurus in that you're just opening up the shell on his back and then folding everything out. But please be careful as apparently it's a very fragile toy. Even though mine is fine, perhaps it's just because unlike all of you, I respect my toys enough to not always be so hashy-bashy. The robot mode might be less iconic than the original, but there's still a lot to love. That head sculpt is perfect. That vile grimace of a would-be dictator who surrounded themselves with absolute shithouses. And I love that organic chest detail too, along with those thighs that are absolutely ribbed for my pleasure. The big turbines on the back can still fold out, giving us another flight mode. And of course you can do the same with the skates if you're looking to produce your own, I don't know, Transformers version of Xanadu. You know, ask your grandparents. The articulation isn't fantastic, and with those shoulder pads, dabbing is just out of the question. But he's a handsome lad, isn't he? On the waist, we've got this swivel here where the tail attaches, so you can either have the tail on Megatron's hip, like a holster of sorts, or you could stop being a maniac and detach it to give him this very cool whip weapon. Open this menacing looking piece at the end, and it's haircuts all round for the Predacons tonight. What a delightful wee fella this is. He's so strange. And as we know, it only gets stranger with him from now on. Listen, you need to make up for that heart attack joke earlier. Oh, um, well, uh, fair enough. Um, right, look, he's a... Uh, he's, look, he, he's a Tyrannosaurus Tex. Yeah, no, that's, that's, you know, actually that's really good. Oh, thanks wee man, and thanks to all of the folks who support this channel on Patreon, especially Stephen Kroll, whose favourite all-time toy is G1 Grimlock. And you know what? I am ashamed to say I have never had one of these toys, so here's hoping we'll get one in the missing link line, eh? That'll shut you all up, you know, as if anything could. <laughs> Bye.